Everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Paul Nguma, founder of Phenology Lab. In today's video, we're going to be talking about another stock that is showing a massive upside and why you should be keeping it on your watch list for the next few days. And I'm also going to be answering some of you guys' questions. For those of y'all who dropped your stocks of interest in this morning's pre-market analysis videos. So without further ado, let's get started right off the bat. Today was a very interesting day. There was an easy pattern on the, on the spy. And the pattern was right here, it was a bear flag, okay? Bear flag, an easy opportunity for short sellers to get in here, right? And then to get out either here or the second chance to get out here, okay? Very easy pattern right off the bat, that's what I see. Okay, but as of like the spy and as of the market as a whole, I'm not completely, I'm not bearish on this one yet until until we see what's going to happen tomorrow. Um, do be very aware. Be very aware about this thing right there. If it breaks below the floor, then you should be a little bit worried because it might tank a bit more. Okay, just just keep that in mind as you trade. In. But we will see exactly how this one opens up in the morning. But the stock for today the stat that you should be keeping on your watches for tomorrow is um, LI. And the reason why I mentioned LI is number one, this is part of the EV stocks, okay? And number two, if you look at it on the daily chart, um, it had a massive move up, they crushed earnings, and then it had a massive pullback along with every EV stocks, right? The short sellers have been hammering the stock all the way down, all the way down and caused the stock to drop by a lot, by what, 40 something, 43%. So this is a big drop on a stock, okay? And the reason why I like the stock is because um, if you look at this thing, where it's actually sitting right now, it's sitting at a previous level of resistance or support, whatever you wanna call it, okay? A previous price level that is acting as support. And I also like it because if you look at this thing on the, like if you look really closely, okay, let me just remove that. You can see that there is a bullish harami on the chart. I This one is not the cleanest because this wick is a little bit lower, right? If this wick was a bit shorter like this without going completely below the previous low, it would have been nice. And for all of you beginners who have no clue what a bullish harami is, if you go on Google, and you type bullish harami, you can see that this this is what I'm talking about right over here. Okay, right there is what I'm talking about. The wick on uh, on Li is just a little long, but overall it looks pretty good given the fact that it's been it's been crushed for so long. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. This bullish harami, and let's move on to here. Okay, so definitely keep that one on your watches for sure. Where I see this thing going, I see this thing bouncing all the way up to a minimum of $33 within the next few days. Could it go higher? Yeah. Um, could it get there faster? It definitely could, okay? So definitely keep this one on your watches for sure, okay? I like this one and I like the way it's looking along with uh, XPEV too. XPEV looks pretty good right now. Yeah, XPEV looks pretty good and it's also at a previous level of resistance. Okay, so watch both of them for the next few days. Now let's talk about you guys' stocks of interest. Um, the very first one that we're gonna talk about. Somebody asked me to do a uh, follow up on at home. I'm gonna keep that very brief. I've mentioned that I want to see at home drop to eleven dollars, and it looks like it wants to actually get there, which is great. Okay, so right for everybody who is on the sidelines and you want to be a long term investor in this thing, this is good. The stock is dropping. That's phenomenal. I'm very patient and let it fall, okay? Just, again, I'm just waiting for this thing to fall some more so that I can buy the dip and ride this wave right here, okay? That is a very honest opinion on that one. The next one that we're going to be talking about, I wanna make a follow-up video on a stock that I did call out before, um, I did call out in a previous video. And so far, it pulled back today. I'm not completely bearish, I'm not bearish on this one yet because it's still, it's still on the breakout. And if it opens higher tomorrow, like right now after market, the ask is at 48, 49. And if it's higher tomorrow, and if it follows the market, then it could open at exactly like 48, 70. 
and then tomorrow might be a green day again just keep in mind that floor that i drew on the spy okay keep that in mind but if this thing is as clean as it looks the price target is still the same and it's still on course and i'm not bearish on this one at, at all this one is still a hold for me okay now the other one that i'm going to be following up on and this one is b l n k blank and for those of y'all who watch my own who watched that afternoon video that was supposed to be in the morning i released a video on blank right over here right at noon okay telling you guys that this was a very obvious and clean short because of the amount of room that it has over here around 40 dollars all right and if you look at what happened there was a dark cloud cover at the top a dark cloud cover at the top okay let me just zoom in this is a dark cloud cover right there and then the next day was just devastating it just crumbled all the way down it was a beautiful short so for all of you who were able to catch puts on this thing and um, short this thing and make some money, congratulations. Right now, I think it may bounce just a little bit, just kind of like a dead cat bounce from 40 all the way up to like 46. And then from there, I think it drops some more. I think it really does. So um, I'm not bullish on this one yet. I do think we will experience a, a, a dead cat bounce that's not going to last for too long. I will be looking to get back in short on top of like at the top of the death cap bounce just to reshort it as it falls. Okay, I'm not bullish on this one at all. Okay, so that is my very honest opinion of blank. Um, the next one that we're going to be talking about is OSTK. And OSTK, um, I was looking at this thing previously and it looks like it broke um that level of support and honestly it's not looking good like if you're long in this all i gotta say is be careful no, i'm not touching the stock i do see a it's not perfect this this thing is not perfect this um bullish harami cross okay there's a cross right there this bullish harami cross is not perfect it's not as perfect as um as wb it's not it's not this 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 is the perfect bullish harami cross okay this right there bullish harami cross there's a cross right there right this is a perfect one this ostk is not it's not it's not what i would put my money in i wouldn't put my money in because of the risk that it could go down lower all right could it go could it bounce a little bit and then continue falling yeah that, that could happen but unless something very obvious happens for me where i know exactly where it's gonna go i'm not gonna touch this thing and plus it looks like it's on a similar trend as what's happened before it rises, it drops first, it goes sideways, and then it drops again all the way down to the floor. And that's what's happening here. It rises, drops, goes sideways, and then it looks like it's on the way back down towards 30. It looks like it. I'm not saying that it's going to go towards 30, but it looks like it wants to go towards 30, okay? So just, just keep that in mind, all right? Could this drop actually drop to 30? Maybe. Maybe. I'm not saying that it will. I'm just saying that I'm not going to put my money in it long. I'm not going to do that. That's my very honest opinion of it. Okay. Just following a similar trend as the past. And uh, I would not be surprised to see this thing drop to 30. Just saying. Okay. So let's move on to the next stock. The next stock that we're going to be talking about is SQ. And SQ, somebody asked uh, me to do a... a um, a review on the stock a while ago and honestly um on the chart if you haven't been shorting since like yesterday or since the 24 i would say be careful i would say be really careful could it go down even further all the way down to like 200 i think it can go down to 200 i think it can it's not looking too great right now um after market it's actually down if you look at it on the five minute chart it's kind of down right now. If it follows the market, then it might open up at 216. But what is to say that it's going to bounce? Like there is no guarantee that it's going to bounce. And plus, this is very tempting for short sellers right now. It's not looking too great. The volume is in the selling volume is increasing. It's just not looking too great. OK, so just keep that one. Keep that one in mind. Um, the coast is not clear for dip buy. But at the same time, if you're short, you shouldn't be too greedy either. If you've been shorting this since Monday, then hopefully you should have covered some of your money at least today 
just in case that way you don't get caught up in a situation like se and se trapped a lot of shorts it did y'all see that right y'all see this it looks like a beautiful short and then people get in at the bottom right here at 180 and they want the stock to drop all the way down to 160 and then they get trapped in a bullish harami which is terrible right you don't you don't want to be you don't want to be caught up in that so for those of you who are in um in sq right now all i gotta say is don't be too greedy if um if everything works in your favor and it opens lower and it even drops to like 204 or 208 um there may be a bounce coming right around the corner so just again that's, that's really my a very honest opinion for sq um now i'm gonna wrap it up with baba all right I'm gonna let y'all in on Baba really quick. Again, for those of y'all who um, who have been subscribing to the channel, I covered Baba at the very bottom, all right, at around like 221 after the bounce. And then I told you that this was a bit buying opportunity, just like I'm doing it right now with Lee. And it worked out to perfection, all right? It worked out to perfection. It went to 235 today, and it went to 237, and it went to 238. I got rid of it at 235 and at 236. I was out of there. Why was I out of there? Because this this move it exceeded my expectations. Like I like the money was great. That's fine. But now I want it to actually drop. I want it to fall all the way back down to like maybe a hundred to 200 and like 20 or maybe 225. Just anywhere in here, right? Because again, they reached my price target faster than I wanted, right? And now I wanted to just dip a little bit, make your lower low, and then hold just to rebound even higher, right? So um, be very cautious. If you're being extra, extra, extra greedy on this thing, all I gotta say, be very, uh, be very cautious. Hopefully some of y'all took my advice and said, take some money off the table as it's climbing up because pullbacks are normal and pullbacks happen a lot more than expected so again, that's just my very honest opinion on the stock. And we'll see exactly how it opens tomorrow. I could be wrong and the stock could jump up to 245. Again, I could be, and y'all could be making even more money for those of y'all who decided to be extra, extra greedy on the stock. Okay, so again, we'll see what happens in the morning. But if you got value from the video, definitely destroy the like button for the YouTube algorithm as always. Um, if you're new to the channel, definitely click on subscribe and click on the notification bell along with all notifications that way you don't miss out on the pre-market analysis videos which are released from monday through friday at exactly 8 15 a.m central time 15 minutes before the market opens and the post-market analysis videos like this one which are released every single day in the afternoon if you're not following us on social media you can find me at paul and guma and at Analogy Lab on Instagram and on Twitter. Also, if you are new to the market and would like to make some money and start trading right away, I left some step-by-step -step directions in the description of the video below. Step one through step four. It only takes about 15 minutes or less to get started trading with everything you need to, to get started today, all right? You can also get three free stocks after signing up with Webull. Use my very first link in the description below. And one free stock after signing up with Robinhood using my second link in the description below as well. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Nguma with Patternology Lab, where we trade patterns and patterns only. And I will see all of you in tomorrow's morning pre-market analysis video, all right? Today was a good day. It was a little bit tricky, but again, hopefully tomorrow is better. I'm gonna see y'all tomorrow.